All right, folks, so we are here at the Night Force booth, and we got Carlos. He's a rep for Night Force. Carlos, tell us a little bit about what you do for Night Force. Awesome. Yeah, my job is the uh, field training team supervisor. So my job is to go around to dealers, customers, and teach them the intricacies of our product, reticles, all that. Um, show them how to use our new CFS, tell you a little bit about it. Um, this is our new 6 to 36 by 50 first focal plane configurable field spotting scope, or the awesome. CFS. It's a really cool streamlined design. The coolest thing I like about it is that it could be a bare spotting scope, or you could have the accessory cage and a, a rail platform out front for your enablers, thermal night vision, stuff like that. So really comprehensive. It can be bare bones or just have all the attachments like you see on the screen behind me. No, that's awesome. And I love, I love how compact this is. You know, we do a lot of long range training, but on top of that, we have a lot of clients contact us that want a spotting scope that they can use for long range. They could also use for hunting. Mm -hmm. And I, I love how compact this is, how light it is. I've already had it out. Uh, and the fact that you have an additional rail here that we can add whatever accessories you want, right? laser range finders, thermals, additional small optics so you can get on target a lot quicker. I think it's just awesome. So what are some of the key features of this overall? Like you said, we designed it for everyone. So we'll start from the uh, objective side and go to the, the eyepiece. So okay. it ships with Tenebrex flip covers. Awesome. So you don't have to go anywhere for those. 50 millimeter objective, tons of light transmission, great resolution, great resolving power. So really awesome feature here, if you'll notice, it's only 120 degrees of throw oh, okay. to go from 20 meters all the way to infinity. I love that you got that close focus of 20 meters too. Mm -hmm. So if people are wanting an optic or a spotting scope for even like 22 rimfire, anything like yes. that, that is actually pretty hard to find. Absolutely. That, that's really cool. So some spotters you'll have to go around two or three times to go from like 50 yards to 500. Okay. This is all right here. It's designed so you can use them both at the same time. Okay. Magnification goes from six to 36. It's first focal plane. We have three different reticles available. The reticles are designed to be complementary or to be used with our MOA XT, our MIL XT, or the Tremor 3. Okay. So we've designed them around those three reticles so the shooter and spotter can talk the same language. Right here, you have your diopter change. It's a very slick barrel that you can do. The whole thing will rotate, so it's very quick to use uh, to get a fine-tuned diopter adjustment. And we have an adjustable cheek, or sorry, adjustable eye cup right here. So, pretty sweet. It ships as just a bare bone spotter without the cage, or you can get it with the cage and accessories. Um, you can very, very quickly and easily mount the cage yourself. It's all arc Yep. yep. So this footprint, it lives on the body tube. It's integrated with the body tube itself. Nice. So you don't have to go to a third party to get like a little clamp on rail right there. Okay, yep. If you run the rail accessory platform or the S-Wrap, um, it clips on directly to this uh, dovetail portion, this ARCA portion, yep. and it has another ARCA platform built into it. So you can stack the ARCA and you don't have to go and do any kind of weird adapter it just right out of the box just clips right on so yeah we're really excited for this we think it's going to make a lot of waves in the industry a lot of people have asked us to put reticles in our like ts80 ts82 yeah, that's been um, a long time coming yeah so we've been working on this for years and years we designed the the uh, accessories and the spotting scope in tandem so you don't have to go to a third party to look for accessories Really excited. No, that's awesome. I think for military, law enforcement, hunting, competition, I mean, it just checks a lot of boxes where you're going to get a lot of versatility. You know, a lot of people, you know, this may not be the perfect setup if you're just doing competition, but if you're hunting, uh, you know, doing competition, and then you, you want to be able to take this easily anywhere. You know, we have some pretty large spotting scopes, and yes. they're in big, you know, we end up putting them in these big containers and taking them everywhere. So. I love the form factor, and I love the fact that we can right. we can go as crazy as we want with accessories. Right. Uh, no, it's really awesome. 80 millimeter spotting scopes exist. Yeah. And small spotting scopes are harder to find. Small spotting scopes with the reticle, even harder. Extremely so hard. there's, there's something for everyone. Uh, we believe that this is going to be the best field spotter out there in the industry right now. Awesome. Well, no, man, we appreciate your time. Thank you for going over that with us, and uh, we got a lot more coming. So uh, you'll be seeing some of these in the shop 
for sure. And we're going to get them out there at the courses as well. So other, so our clients and students can actually uh, check them out as well. So really, I'm really excited about this. We're going to go home, bro. No big deal. All right. Thanks. Thank Scott. you. Yep. Hey folks, Gary here. And we are at the Microtech booth. Uh, I ran into a booth bunny right here. Uh, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I am Ray with X-Ring. Uh, you guys know that Gary and I already have a, a relationship through Paramount Tactical. That sounds weird. That's all right. It's all good. <laughs> they know it comes from a good place. It but does, it does. Gary wanted me to talk about the latest releases from Microtech, and we have an entire lineup of new releases. And, and I know and you're familiar with these. I am. So I just want to tell you guys, if you don't know, we haven't, I don't think we've done any media on this, but we are a Microtech dealer. And it was funny that, you know, Ray has a connection with them. Uh, I have loved Microtech. And if you're going to get an out the front knife, you got to go with Microtech. It's just, yeah. just a fact. So, and we got some brand new models. They've taken some great technology and they've made it even better. And I'll let the man talk all about it. Yeah, so Microtech's been in business. This will be our 30th year. And what we did is we introduced, basically we introduced a new action into the systems. So what you guys remember from these, from being very, very difficult to operate, yeah. what we've done is Tony's been able to redesign the internal mechanism so that it's a longer stroke, but it actually retracts and deploys harder in both directions. Um, you know, we actually had Summer on here. She was trying it, and she was like, man, this is so easy. So this is the Combat Troodon. It's been redesigned, Gary. It still looks like a Combat. We've changed the pocket clip. It has a billet pocket clip. Yeah, I, I love that. A again, yeah. folks, if you've ever pushed the action on any of these, they've always been pretty difficult. Got to put a little MA in it. This is super smooth, but then the, the knife actually deploys faster. It feels, uh, it just feels more solid. Yeah. It locks up quicker. I like it. I'm digging it. Okay, and then uh, another one uh, that we released is the Hera. Now, this is the Hera, the full-size Hera. What do you see on this? I see yeah. the old coffin. Coffin. Wait, 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 wait. Do you, do you see any exposed fasteners? I see no. Oh, look at that. So this one was really unique because they were able to design it such that you had no exposed fasteners other than the pocket clip. So there's one on there for the pocket clip, and okay. that is what really holds everything together. This is holding everything together? Everything. Wow. And that has the new action too, doesn't it? Absolutely does. You can tell. Oh, yeah. It, it's so much easier to deploy. You're not like, Ehh. I mean, it, it's smooth as fast. Yeah. Are all so the, it's the Hera 2 is what we're calling Are all that. the new knives going to come with the new action? They are. Okay. From this point forward. Yep. Um, we still have yet to do it for the Ultratech and some of the other models. But we, uh, before your time, we used to do some stuff. And we had a Cypher. So this is a brand new release of the Cypher with the new action. Um, you'll also see that there are no exposed fasteners. That's Just nice. a really good look. It's a smaller knife, like um, but still a good size. Now, all these will come in different variations from single edge to double edge. Um, so if you see it with a single, don't assume that that's the only way that it comes. Yeah, and again, you can go to our website. We're going to definitely be getting some of these in. We do have some of the Microtechs in stock right now, so go to our website, check that out. We'll do some more content on these for sure. Um, I, I'm just as much of a gun, uh, of a knife nerd as I am a gun nerd. So I'm hooked on my own supply. HMG. <laughs> All right, so next up is the Scarab 2. Uh, you know, that's always been a popular one. The original Scarab, then we did the Scarab. Uh, that we released that was the Scarab 2 and then now we have the new design of it has less inlays the other one had a lot of inlays um, and it has the new action on it this will be available in the single edge double edge retains the standard pocket clip and it does fire underwater I like 100 percent fires like underwater it. fires underwater yep absolutely guaranteed and retracts underwater what yep it's amphibious. It is, but we do have the amphibian that we released, but that's a different knife. That's yeah. new as well. Is it also it is. ambidextrous? It is ambidextrous. Ambi all and the there's way no tree in it either. It's ambidextrous. Uh, this is here? the LUDT2. Uh, for those that are familiar with the LUDT, we redesigned it with a new chassis. Uh, it actually now has roller bearings. That's smooth. So it's on silica carbide bearings. Uh, internally, and it does have a backspacer, so it's 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 changed quite a bit. That was nice. So Microtech's been very busy in reintroducing the new knives, the whole new line. Um, you know, we need to do a special on the suppressors one day. 
We do. Not today, though. Not today, though. No, that, that's slick, man. Well, cool, man. Well, Ray, we always appreciate it. Likewise. And again, uh, we are a microtech dealer. Go to our website. Everything's on the website, right, Summer? Everything's on the website. You can go check that out. And we're definitely putting in an order for some of these. Ray's going to make sure that we get some of these before we leave. This. I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we appreciate you. Uh, thanks again, Ray. Anytime. But until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon. All right, hey, folks, Gary here with Fairmount, and we are with one of our favorite retail partners. We're here at the Architect booth, and we just heard some insider information. We got a little little down low. All right, uh, we have right here, we have Susie Garcia. She's our dealer rep. We've been working with her for a long time. First time we got to meet her in person, which mm -hmm. was great. Um, Susie, what do we got coming up? We have a ARC amount that's going to be Picatinny, so two and one, so customers are able to use whichever without having to pick one bipod versus the next. And then we're having a horseshoe design bipod that'll be great for long range so that it brings the center of the rifle down more. Um, so those are the two new things coming up, and we might have things trickle in. And one of the things we would constantly get asked about is, you know, people bought, you know, the Akatec bipods a couple years ago, so they have a pick rail mount on it, and they want to upgrade to the Arca mount. Well, with this new mount, we're going to be able to sell that separately. Yeah. And that way you can retrofit that to where now your bipod will handle Picatinny or Arca. So that's pretty exciting. And it takes a great bipod that is going to last forever to begin with. Mm -hmm. And now it just extends the life of it. You don't have to switch, you know, or choose one or the other. And it also makes it a lot easier for you. Just like me, I have lots of guns that have Arca or Pick Rail and having to, you know, switch bipods or whatever else. I mean, it just, it just makes a lot of sense. Yep. The other thing, folks, and they sent me one of these. I haven't had a chance to review it or test out yet but that is coming up is this bad boy which is actually really cool Susie tell us about this yeah so this is our hydraulic bipod it's controlled by fluid and it has a vertical adjustment it's able to can't um, from here you can bring it up more and can you do it for yeah, me yeah absolutely you know, <laughs> I don't have the muscle so you just push there these. you go there we go and there's buttons on the back here all right, so you got buttons on the back, you push that, and it allows us to change the angle of the legs. And then what is so awesome is over here, we got this controller, yeah. and you're just turning this, and it's gonna lower it or raise that up. And again, I'm gonna do a full review on that, folks, coming up very soon. It's on my to-do list, I just haven't gotten around to it. What else? Um, well, so far, this is our new, you got the scoop on the new products. I'm excited so, about that. A lot yeah. of clients are going to be really happy about that, being able to convert yeah. that over. Well, folks, again, we are a dealer, so make sure you go to ParamountTactical.com. Go check out what we have in stock on our website. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for guys. all the service. Thank you, you guys. guys. Hey, they've always been awesome with us. And it's just great to have a retail partner that takes care of us the way that Accutech does. American-made products, and honestly, still to this day, I think they are the best bipods that you can get. Thank you. See you next time. Hey folks, Gary here, and we are in the Thunder Beast Arms booth. Uh, I just ran into Curtis, and by the way, Curtis, this is a rare thing. You don't get to talk to the engineers too often, and we just struggled with struggle, the conversation. We were talking about some of the new brake suppressors and some really exciting stuff. And you guys know when you're shooting, uh, it's either the choice between a suppressor or a brake, and you never get the best of both worlds. And I'm really excited about these. We're going to get some of these in very soon. We're going to do some more testing, but they're going to be available to you as well. And Curtis, if you will, just take us through what you guys created, why, and, and what we're seeing as far as performance out of these things. Yeah, so this year we've expanded the Magnus line. The, the 9 inch Magnus has been such a popular can for us, it's such a good performer yep. um, in its size class. It is among the best or the best as far as suppression. Uh, we basically added a seven and a five inch version of the Magnus line, and then also took what we learned from the 50 BMG project and applied it to a 30 cal can. And what we're seeing is, it's remarkable. It doesn't exist anywhere else. You're getting suppression and recoil reduction in one package. For example, everyone can picture or shot an Ultra 7 on a 300 Win Mag. That Ultra 7, it's changing the recoil impulse and it's actually only reducing the recoil energy by about 8%. Wow. The new Magnus SRR is reducing that recoil by 65%. Wow, that's, that's, that's impressive. So what this is, this is gonna be a big game changer, not just in the PRS world, but just in general shooting. For the PRS guys, you're gonna get on target faster, right? Your ocular flinch is gonna be shorter, so you're gonna be able to watch trace for longer. And also you're not getting taxed, right? So 
before Thunder Beast, I did IED research for the DOD. Oh, wow, okay. And kind of the rule of thumb was if you can feel it, it's affecting your brain, right? 100%. So when you take that shot with one of the big brakes that is amazing at reducing recoil, the trade-off is it's beating the crap out of you. Yeah, you're getting a lot of overpressure. It is. Yeah. So the end of day one or day two, you've been taxed. You're down IQ points. You're yeah. going to start making mental errors, right? You're going to drop points. You're, 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 number one, you have that brain fog that goes on without a doubt. But then it's also, a, it takes a physical toll on you too. For sure. I mean, it, it smokes you when you're eating high recoil all the time from those and, and just the overpressure from those large brakes. Yep. I mean, just, you know, all you got to do is shoot next to somebody that is running a brake and you're not and you feel that, right? It, it, it's pretty amazing. So this is going to make it to where you don't have to give up that recoil performance, but you're also not getting taxed. Yeah. So it's going to make just shooting a match more enjoyable. It's going to make going to the range more enjoyable. If your split times matter to you, because for professionals, split times matters, right? Yeah. They're going to be shorter. Your follow-up shots are going to be faster. You're going to see impact easier. Um, it's going to make you a more effective system. And I just love the fact that, again, you're not having to choose. You know, oftentimes I'm sitting there like, all right, do I want to run a brake or do I want to run the suppressor? And, and the fact that you don't have to choose with this is pretty amazing. You know, when you're talking about the Magnus and you're saying you guys are going to now make a 7-inch version, what, what is the volume? Is that comparable to like the Ultra 9 as far as volume and even sound suppression with that? Yeah, it's not quite as good as a Gen 2 Ultra 9. Yeah. It's very close to what a Gen 1 Ultra 9 is. Okay. So they're kind of landing in between, right? So you kind of go Magnus Ultra 9, Magnus S, Ultra 7, Magnus K, Ultra 5. So it kind of splits the difference between them. Um, the biggest advantage that you have by the Magnus line is it has the crazy short barrel restrictions, mm -hmm. right? So you're back down to that 16 inch Norma, right? Right. So you can run it on a super short hunting setup. If you want to do an SBR short mag, do an SBR short mag. Now there's a can for you. The best part of this though is now you can't just get this in 30 cal, you can get these in 338, and later this year we'll have them in 375. Wow, okay. So if you want a short 338 can for like 8.6 blackout, yeah. we'll have it. If you want a nice can for a 338 wind mag or a, you know, a 338 hunting cartridge, but you don't want the 10 and a half inch 338 Ultra, now you've got a short version that you can get with either a flat cap or a break. Awesome. So we're just trying to fill in those gaps for our customers. We're such long range orientated guys that there's so many different niches within that community. We just want to make sure that we have an offering for everybody so you don't have to compromise and you can come to Thunder Beast for the right product. And, and folks, I've said this time and time again and I've done a lot of testing on suppressors. You can go to our channel and check out all those out. I've always said that, you know, Thunder Beast is kind of, they're known in the long range world, but I'm telling you, even with their hard use suppressors, the Dominus, the Dominus SR, all of those, to, I'm telling you, they're just the best suppressors out there and, and they're just the most underrated suppressors in my opinion. And that's why we are a direct dealer for Thunder Beast Arms and no one else. Of course, we, we have a kind of a long range niche that can, tends to be what we do, but I'm telling you, the Dominus SR for your hard use suppressors is just, it's as good as anything out there and it's stupid light, it's stupid light. Um, one of the things I know a lot of people are gonna ask is, folks, you have to order this. This is not, you can't retrofit your older suppressors with this, right? No, we're not allowed to change the form length per the ATF, yep. right? That's also the reason why we have to ship this with either the brake or a flat cap. We can't ship it with both because the, the rules don't allow us to ship extra parts with a suppressor. This, this our, our portion is considered a suppressor part, so it falls under the same purview as anything else within that suppressor, unfortunately. Yeah, so essentially, because of the stupid rules of the ATF folks, even if you bought this separately, you would still be getting a tax stamp just on this, if they were able to even retrofit that. But I'm, I'm sure when it comes to the design, it just makes more sense to design this all in one piece, right? Yeah, it's gonna work best if you can design it from the ground up for that purpose, which is what we've done. Makes perfect sense. Well, folks, we're definitely gonna be getting some in. We already have Thunder Beast Arm Suppressors in stock right now, so you can go check those out. Uh, but we will definitely be getting some of these in the test to use, and I'm excited about it. This is one of the most exciting products out there here at SHOT Show, in my opinion, so far, and uh, we can't wait to get them in. Well, one thing I did wanna let you guys know is the lead times on these folks. We are placing an order for these right now. We'll get a, a bunch of those, and we'll get them up on the website for back order. We're looking at right around June or July is when we expect to get those in. That's the lead time for those right now. Yep. So awesome. So go ahead, make sure you put in your order. 
be the first ones to get this. And that way you're not gonna have to compromise on sound suppression and recoil reduction. You get it all in one package, it's gonna be great. Curtis, I really appreciate you taking the time Great to let time. us know. Thank you. And anyways, until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon. Hey folks, we are here at the PWS Primary Weapon Systems booth and we got their brand new gun. Ari, it's great to meet you. And he's gonna show us exactly, he's gonna give us an overview of this. And I'm pretty excited about this. This has been the number one requested uh, product that we've asked about, hey, what do you guys wanna see? And this is it right here. So tell us a little bit about it. So this is our UXR, it's our uh, user exchange rifle. Uh, simplest way to, for me to explain this is this is a very caliber agnostic chassis system, meaning you know uh, there's been a lot of chances or uh, companies that try to do the quick barrel change system. Yep. We've taken it a little bit further where we've actually been able to allow the Magwell system to also be interchangeable. Wow. Okay. So I could break it down for you really Absolutely. quickly. Um, the upper receiver is actually the serialized asset of it. Really? Yeah. Let me get my push it out. So you just pull the pin out, just like a standard AR-15. Take down pin in the rear. Yep. Yep. There's your mag there's your lower receiver. Now this is not the serialized. These are just gun parts. Yep. Nice. It uses a standard AR-15 trigger as okay. well as the safety system and the grip. Now yes. is that is that interchangeable with like let's say you want to put a different trigger in or oh, something? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. This is okay. just a trigger that cartridge that um, trigger check has done for us. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, and yeah. that's what they sell with. Awesome. And then just like a normal AK system, you just pop out the spring. Okay. Just like so. Yep. And then we've got this other piece here. That's the Magwell. So that's all that's you really sweet. need to do to change the well actually one other thing. You gotta take the bolt apart. Awesome. It's a fully captured uh, BCG, so oh, nice. the bolt itself. So that is our bolt right yeah. there. That's pretty slick. And we have a non-reciprocating charging, charging handle, handle yep. right? Yep. That's slick. And it's fully right. ambidextrous, so you can switch to your left side, your right side. Yep. Yep. And then to take out the actual barrel, there's three screws here. Um, each one of these screws, you do two full rotations, okay. and the whole barrel system slides right out. Nice. And slide the barrel back in. You tighten these three two, three screws to 80 inch pounds, and then you should be ready to go. Awesome. Um, when you're swapping barrels, one of the concerns that our customers have are, you know, having the zero on that optic remain. Right. right. So we hold a half MOA return to zero. Wow. So you swap this around, you can do it as many times as you want, as long as you properly torque that barrel right. on, on the trunk. If you're itself. consistent, the gun will be consistent. Absolutely. Love yeah. it. And the system is really simple to clean, maintain, swap out the bolts. Notice something here about a 223 bolt head. It's a lot thicker than you normally see, right? Yeah, that's a little because beefier. It, yeah. yeah, it uses the same kind of footprint as a 308, so our 223 is going to be a lot bigger. Three, uh, 308 will be more normal size, but we got different bolt heads that will come with the barrel. Oh, that's awesome. So what, what calibers are available right now? Right now, we're launching with a 223 and a 300 blackout and a 308. Awesome. Um, our next set we'll launch with is the 8.6 Blackout, um, the 6 Creedmoor, and a 7.6239 with an AK Magwell. Wow. All right. That's, that's slick. No, I'm impressed, man. Yeah. It's actually better than what I thought it was going to be in person. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, so let me put this back together yep, real quick. Yep. Just drop this bolt in here. Being on camera makes everything harder. It does. So you take the <laughs> there you spring. Go. Push this down and it just goes through here and locks in place just like that. Then you want to take your magwell. And there's a little key that exists right on the top here. Just like with charging handles, you want to get this in there. That locks in place. Awesome. And the lower side, so roll it right over the top. Give it one good seat. Person's gonna want to fight me at the very end. Yeah, on camera, that's how it works, man. <laughs> oh, it's this trigger tag. Uh, the trigger tag was getting in the. Uh, the trigger tag was actually getting in the uh, seam the there. The yep. seam there, yep. Yep. So, 
that's just about it. Awesome, man. No, that is slick. That's slick. So I guess with the the magwells, those are going to be interchangeable. So yep. you'll have like kind. So yep. I, I'm assuming like six five and three oh eight will probably have the same magwell. They'll all have the same awesome. magwell. Awesome. And it's easy because we've got these dot system here. Yep. And it's. A quick reference for a shooter to know, like, I've got a 308 magwell in here with a 308 barrel. That, that's slick. And when are these when are these released? Um, they're going to come out and start rolling out uh, end of February. End of February? What are we looking at retail? Do they have a price on them yet? Street price is going to be about $24.99, but retail price could be $26.50. Uh, and the additional barrels? Additional barrel systems are going to be $575. Street price is going to be about $4.99. Awesome, awesome. All right, we really appreciate that. Yep. Folks, as soon as we get these in, as soon as they're available, we're definitely going to be getting some of those in. Maybe we'll twist some guys at PWS to get us a demo model. We'll see how that works. <laughs> uh, but again, I'm really excited about this. A really cool modular system that's going to work for most people, whether home defense, uh, you know, training. It's going to be a great, great, great product like everything else PWS makes. <laughs> so uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon.